Now I'm going to clean my vial and I'm going to put it in the staging area. Now I'm going to clean my syringe. Again, notice that I'm putting this uh, towel down each time that I'm getting ready to enter the hood. So from this point, since I'm not allowed to have paper products in the hood, I'm going to go ahead and open my syringe. This time my syringe, I'm going to open it towards the airflow, which your airflow is coming from top to bottom now. That's why I opened it this way. And I'm going to go ahead and place it on my chemo mat like so. This guy, I'm not putting it down. I'm going to go ahead and throw it away right away. The next thing that I'm going to wipe down is my needle. Same thing. I'm going to go ahead and open it right away. Notice that I'm not all the way in the hood. I'm basically where this pre-filter is in the front. Okay. Grab your syringe, attach it, set it down. The next thing is this alcohol pad. I'm going to clean the white IV port. Next alcohol pad will be for the, the uh, top of my hazardous file. But first I have to take the top off. Same thing, take it off towards you. And now you can go ahead and clean it. <coughs> Wipe towards you. All right, so now I'm ready to start compounding, but before I compound, since I've been coming in and out of the hood, I'm gonna to need to spray my hands again. So again, we'll let those guys dry. <clears throat> Remember, I'm going to need to add 5.6 mLs of air into that syringe before I puncture that vial, okay? So my gloves are pretty much dried now. I'm going to go ahead and grab my syringe, and we need 5.6 mLs of air. So that's roughly about right there. I'm going to bring my vial into the compounding area. You want to make sure that when you're compounding, this part right here, it's not very stable. So try to put it on, on the flattest surface there to prevent any type of spills. I'm going to uncap my needle here. Same thing at a 45 degree angle. Go ahead and puncture your vial. Do the peace sign. And now I'm not going to flip it all the way up. Now I'm going to flip it at this angle here. And we do that because my airflow is no longer coming from the back towards me. It's coming from the top down. So now I'm going to pull on the plunger and let go. That's what we call negative pressure. Also notice that my hand is not hovering over this part here. If I do that, again, it's going to be blocking the airflow to that critical site. So my first critical site is fully exposed, good. And then my hand, you'll notice that I place it again a very specific way to prevent accidentally blocking those critical areas. Remember, you never recap any needle of a hazardous product and that's for safety reasons. Remember that whenever you're compounding a hazardous product, there's always a pharmacist standing right behind you, making sure that everything's okay, and they're basically checking your work at that time.
So from this point, you'll notice that my syringe is pretty filled up. So from this point, I can no longer hold my vial this way. Now I'm going to have to hold it straight up. Since at this point, that critical area isn't getting the, the clean air, this process has to be fairly quick. So we clear our air bubbles as quickly as we can. We pull back to what we need. Remember, based on my calculations, it looks like I needed 7.5. That's about 7.5. We lock it in place, flip the vial down, and we withdraw air as we're coming out. Now your pharmacist will take your products from you each time. No, you come over here. So like my pharmacist, for example, is gonna take the medication from me and dispose of it for me, okay? Because I am not to recap that needle there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and apply pressure to this white IV port like we've been doing. Bevel up and we inject the medication and the air. The whole thing goes in there. Then my pharmacist is gonna come again and grab this from me. and they will dispose of that for you, okay? So that's what I meant by they're literally standing right next to you each time and they dispose your products for you. Because if you remember in the horizontal hood, we would recap and we would put things to the side in this hood, completely different ball game. So once we're done injecting our medication into our IV bag, we're gonna mix this guy We're going to cap the white IV port. We're going to clean the outside of this bag with 70% isopropyl alcohol. So you would grab your saturated lint-free paper towel, wipe this guy down with alcohol, and we do that because it's a hazardous product. Once that dries off, you label it with your hazardous label. You label it with your patient label. Then we stick this bag in what's called a hazardous bag. It almost looks like a big Ziploc bag, but it has, it's, it's a yellow bag and it says hazardous products. Then we put that bag into what we call a transportation tote. It sort of resembles a, a fishing tackle box and we use that to transport the medication throughout the hospital where it's needed.